and a real return for you to theatre, which is where you started as a little girl. Yeah, it, yeah, exactly. And actually, I've been really fortunate the last couple of years to be able to mix it up a bit, and that's kind of the ideal scenario, being an... Because you actually quite like the process of theatre, don't you? I, I do, because you get time to, to really discuss and look into it, and... Uh, Gaslight is a Patrick Hamilton play. Um, he's known for thrillers like Rope that Hitchcock made into a, into a film. And uh, it's not your usual whodunit. It's a bit of a psychological thriller. And it's, um, it's, definitely, it's different for me, but gaslighting, the term originated from the play, and it means for uh, a victim who's being psychologically manipulated to sort of doubt their memory oh, and, right. and... I didn't know that. ..slowly think they're going slightly mad. Well, so it's said in Victorian times and it's a respectable Victorian, I say respectable Victorian marriage um, between Bella, who's you, and Jack, who's Rupert Young. Um, the trouble is that um, he is out all the time. Yeah. And we... So the audience starts to doubt his kind of... He's got a dark backstory that comes to light. Yeah. And we get behind Bella and then uh, Ruff comes along, Keith Allen. That's his it's name. Isn't Ruff. Detective. Detective Ruff. Yeah. And... Um... <laughs> Great name. <laughs> It's a rather good name, isn't it? And uh, we haven't actually started rehearsing this yet, so it's always odd to talk about it. We'll start in a couple of weeks, but I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to delving in. And I've met Keith and Rupert, and they're fantastic. So it, and it, it, it is going to scare the audience, because things do start to get quite scary. Yeah, and, uh, it, and there's lots going on, so I wouldn't want to ruin it. Mm. But I think for audience members it's a, I, I'm always up for a bit of a comedy and I, I usually go for the lighter hearted things but I've, I've, I've I wanted to do something a little bit sort of dark Darker, yeah. and uh, gritty and it, this grips it does grip you within the first few pages and you don't really know where it's going to go and have you watched the movie yet because in 1944 this is what Ingrid Bergman won the Oscar for I know so have you seen it well I watched it so when the, the script got sent through and you always have a little Google um, so I watched watched a couple of clips, but the director, Anthony, has told me not to watch it until we're sort of halfway through it. So I will might. watch it, but you, it's always a bit dangerous because you start to sort of emulate someone. And I yeah. like sort of mimicking people, so I would just do an impression. <laughs> um, and that would... <laughs> it was an Oscar-winning performance. It was like, true. It could do worse. You can't job it. So when you get the script, and you've been quite open in the past about dyslexia, mm. so, so when you get that script, is it, is it a case in the early days of rehearsal of, oh, my God, this is a mountain to climb? A little bit, yeah. I mean, I've, I've, I think you go about your life and you don't really... You deal with things how you deal with them. So I didn't really realise that I did anything any different from anyone else until I looked into it while doing the documentary. And it does take me a bit of time. But, you know, it, it's not a problem. I just have techniques and little mechanisms. I have these special glasses that are, are tinted green colour and it means that I can just read with a lovely flow, whereas before it's always a bit sort of stagnated. And, um, yeah, so I don't really have any problems. And I've got a really great long-term memory, so I can remember things I did sort of years ago. Once it's in, it's it in. It stays there. Yeah. Do you still remember all your Strictly Dance moves, in which case? Do you know <laughs> what? I, I, I remember that one minute 30, but people always ask if you, you know, ever do it. But no, because I only know that particular that little, little routine. I need that music, that, you know, the partner and everything. So, no, I don't. It came at... And I, I didn't really realise it came at such an important time because you, you finishing EastEnders, didn't realise just how hard it was going to be back yeah. on the market. Yeah. Um, and you nearly packed it in. I did. And actually doing the show was me sort of personally saying, OK, I'm going to go and do something else, but why not salsa my way to it? And, um, and you know, in life, it's always odd that things take a bit of a U-turn and I got to sort of come back to where I wanted to be, so yeah. I feel really fortunate. And you've also just finished filming um, a show... Uh, this is a, a new program for ITV, isn't it? Yeah, um, The Halcyon. Um, yeah. It's coming um, 2017, early Jan. Is this The Hotel? Yeah, it's, a, it's about a hotel called yeah. the Halcyon, set in 1939, and as the Second World War is kicking off, and I play a jazz singer, which That's, is... Uh, and you love singing. I do, but I was always a bit of a shower closet singer, as we all are, I suppose, and uh, I was really nervous to sing out loud in front of people. And then last year I got this job. Well, but Sound of Music, yeah. though. Yeah. I mean, hold on a second. You know, I I'm, know. I'm quite nervous to sing in front of people. I used to sing in the shower. And so you do live Sound of Music. Well, I went for the audition for a bit of a laugh because I... <laughs> I it's, 
one of my, it's my favourite film. Right. But so first I was sort of angry that they were doing it. I thought, why the heck would they? But I still went for the audition, so indulgently I still thought, heck to it. And obviously got the recall and thought, oh my goodness. And then when I got the part, I said, no, I can't do this. It's sick. Because I didn't really know what they were doing and it could be a bit of a joke and they'd done it in America. And I, I thought it was going to be set on the stage and I didn't really think that works so well, filming and yeah. staging. It, me and um but the director sort of won me over and she showed me the sets and it was like something out of grand designs oh, it was really exciting. Exciting. you were so fantastic. clever yeah thank you you I, really I, I were but bold time. and i'm sure that heck Scary. wasn't the word that you were thinking no <laughs> <laughs> if you enjoyed that there's more of the same right here and make sure you subscribe so that you never miss the best moments from this morning